Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here with a sub $600 PC build guide. With this PC, you can expect to play most titles at 1080p at ultra settings with a very solid upgrade path to improve overall performance. All the parts for this build will be located in the PC part picker link down below. So without further ado, let's get right into the parts. First up, for the processor, we have the i3-6100 3.7 GHz dual core processor coming in at a price tag of $109. This processor is a dual core but comes with hyper threading and performs quite well in modern titles. The biggest benefit of the CPU being that it is on the Skylake platform is that you have a solid upgrade path to an i5 or i7 chip if you see fit. As for right now, however, this i3 will allow you to play most titles without any complications, making it a solid choice for this build. Next up is the motherboard. We have the Asus H100M-E M.2 Micro ATX motherboard coming in at a price tag of $37. This motherboard is Micro ATX, it supports our processor, and it is from a reliable brand like Asus. For the price, you're getting a working motherboard that will house all the parts without complication, making it a great fit for this build. As for RAM, we went with one 8GB DIMM of Vexier Core Series RAM for $40. You're getting DDR4 RAM and the ability to add another 8GB DIMM to our two RAM slot motherboard if you feel the need to down the line, but RAM is RAM and this will do the job for the build. As for storage, I decided to opt for a two drive configuration featuring the Silicon Power S60 120GB SSD as the boot drive for Windows and a WD Blue 1TB hard drive for mass storage. Now normally in a budget build like this you would not go with an SSD, however due to my personal preference, I believe that most modern systems should have at least a 60GB SSD for the OS because it is a night and day difference. The 1TB hard drive should also be plenty for all your games and files and if you need to add more drives, you do have the option to slap a few drives in there anyways somewhere down the line. As for the graphics card, we went with the XFX RX 470. This card is a beast at 1080p and at a price tag of only $180. The 4GB frame buffer will be perfect for 1080p gaming and provide you enough headroom to play most titles maxed out at 1080p, making this a perfect card for this build. As for the case, we opted for the Cooler Master N200 Micro ATX case. This case is solidly built, coming in at a price tag of $50 with a $20 mail-in rebate. You can't go wrong with this case for that price, especially with a great brand name like Cooler Master. Lastly, for the power supply, we went with an EVGA 500 watt 80 plus white certified power supply. This power supply will provide you enough juice for this build while not being a bomb threat in your PC. EVGA makes solid units and I have personally used this power supply many times in our budget builds and has yet to let me down. Overall, for a grand total with rebates of $542, this PC is a great buy for those wanting 1080p gaming performance on a budget. $600 is the sweet spot when it comes to price performance and this PC nails that mark with perfection. As I mentioned, all the links to the parts mentioned in this video will be in a PC part picker link down below. Prices are subject to change, so keep that in mind when looking at the link. Thanks again guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter for all things Toasty Bros. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.